Welcome back to Vinny the Axe. Today I want to go over the Strymon Ultraviolet Pedal. I just picked this up and it sounds pretty good and I thought I'd do a little demo for you. I have the switches in the middle position which is a blend and a mid um, EQing is off. So in other words I guess it's in the natural position. There's a low cut and a high cut switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the speed in a relatively easy place I guess so, uh, at uh, 10 o'clock and intensities at one, volumes at almost noon, and I'm playing this through a 1961 Fender Custom Shop Telecaster through a Magnetone Starlight amplifier, and it's plugged into a Magnetone matching 210 cabinet, so the 210 cabinet is what you're hearing. Um, what's being mic'd is through a DGI Pocket 3, so you're listening to the onboard microphone, so this is what it kind of sounds like in the room. I have no other effects on at the moment, just the pedal. I'm going to move from the bridge position to the middle position. So the blend effect kind of tones it down a little bit and it does a cross between I guess the chorus and the, the vibrato effect. So I'm going to move it to the chorus. It's going to be a little bit more pronounced. Back in the neck position. <laughs> Now we're in the vibrato position. Back in the middle of the EQ, I just wanted you to hear the differences there. Go to the middle position. I think what's unique is the blend position. I like that.
Okay, let's add a little reverb. It's the JR Rocket Boing. <laughs> Okay, let's add a little drive from the protein. <laughs> speed down a little bit. Actually works really well with overdrive. Um, I can dial it back a little bit, dial some of the drive back. Let's put it in the chorus mode. Well, as you can see, it's got a really cool bunch of options on it, and you can make it as intense or um, as weak in the signal as you like. Uh, it does work really well with overdrives, and it is a little bit different than the full tone Deja Vibe, which is like, I guess, a, the, it's more of a proper circuit, I guess, for the Univibe type pedal. This is a kind of like a digital recreation from what I understand. It has a lot of features in it, and if you want to know what those features are, you might want to go to their webpage because it does a ton of stuff. It works with MIDI and everything else, and I just want to use it as a standard stomp box. So this is pretty much how I have it set up. Um, not so much on this board. I have another board with a Strymon Brig and a Strymon Flint, and I use it on my Marshall. But I put it on my smaller board here and through the Magnetone, which is a cleaner of, a, of an amp, and this way you could hear actually how it sounds. So... If you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments below, and I'm going to try to do a comparison video between the Deja Vibe and the Ultraviolet so you can hear the differences between the old style, like more of a, I guess like I say, proper circuit for a Univibe style pedal versus this guy. Uh, but um, I like this. I think this sounds really good, and it's nice. It just adds a little bit of flavor to some stuff if you wanted to without it, you know, really messing up your signal um, if you're going to run a lot of drive with it. So anyway, thanks for watching Vinny the Axe. You know, like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on the next videos that come out. And I appreciate it. Take it easy.